Welcome to Heart to Heart, a show where we talk about games and movies, young and old. And today we're going to be talking about the decision-based game, The Quarry. I don't exactly know what genre this game is in, if it's called decision-making or if it's called butterfly effect games. But The Quarry is easily one of the best butterfly effect games that you can get right now. My buddy said to me that if all of these other butterfly effect games are like a TV show, then this, The Quarry, is a movie. And I completely agree. This is like a full-on production i feel like there's a there's a beginning middle and end very clearly as to where some of the other ones things just kind of happen for a few hours this game's a definitely longer than the other ones i think it took about like nine hours or something to, to get through something that i should say before we continue is that i play all these games uh, in multiplayer and I, cause I feel like the multiplayer experience for these things are just significantly better than playing them alone the multiplayer with this one did go a little weird where we played this thing called Lone Wolf or Wolf Pack. The host player gets final say in all choices while the Wolf Pack vote for their favorite option. Uh, and that was, I mean, I was the main guy, so it was fine with me. And my friend said that he enjoyed it just as much. He still enjoyed it just the same. I would have liked to have figured out how to get us both to choose characters and play the game like that because I know that you can do it like that. Luckily for us, this game has a ton of replayability. Even the smallest options, like every single option seems to make a difference, except for at the beginning where every option is just, it all leads to the same place. But once you kind of get out of that little tutorial spot, it really picks up with what matters and what doesn't. Basically everything matters. I think I booted this game up three or four times. That's how many parts we took to get through and every single time I was just drawn into these characters immediately. I did, we did not, it's really I, cause I, I kind of killed a bunch of people by an accident with my decisions and I was upset with every single one. I'd be so genuinely upset after I fucked up and killed a character and that's how you knew that I was into this game. Cause I'd be mad, <laughs> I'd be mad upset. I think the writing is pretty funny. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> in your mouth <laughs> it's not like amazing dylan what the fuck man it's pretty good easily has the best writing out of all of those types of games every character has so much depth that i guess that's probably why i ended up getting attached to almost all of them because i really felt like i could put myself in almost all of their shoes and relate just in some way don't get me wrong there were i had some absolutely goofy parts that were just absolutely hilarious like when you would hide and you would be breathing like holding your breath from a monster that's just directly in front of you and just should be able to see you but it's just games it's just game mechanics bro i think the most important thing is that this game just made sense from beginning middle and end and that fact that it had a beginning middle and end made it that much better whereas games like man of madon like as as fun as it was just kind of ends this game i want to play again because i want to make i want everyone to survive or I think it would be cool to just have a lone survivor, <laughs> just have one. But having every character survive is something that I would love to see. I don't even know how you would be able to do that. I felt like there were some situations where it was either one character was gonna die or another character was gonna die. I don't know how to get out of that situation where they both live. Something that wasn't awesome, I guess it, it kind of had its place where it was cool at times. And then at other times it was just like, well, why? Why are we, why is this a dating simulator? Like, why is everyone just, why are we trying to hook everyone up with each other? And then in situations where people are dying, we're like, but do you like me? Do you like me? Bro, you are got to chill. Maybe this isn't the time and place for that. And I get that they're, I th I'm pretty sure they're all, gra they're all graduating high school. So I don't know, maybe that tracks to priorities, but like you're dying, you worry about being alive. There were random points in the game that just had music and other points didn't. And it's not like when it didn't have music, it had some sort of atmospheric tone or anything. Like, no, a lot of the time it was just like in real life, like no music. And then other times all of a sudden it turned on like a movie soundtrack and it just didn't mesh very well, I don't think. So Adding music in this game is like weird, weird, oh, eh? Be good. It's like a different... Uh, it, 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 it has a, this, this game's like way more of a movie vibe to it. Yeah, also like there isn't music playing all the time. So when they put music in, it's very, yeah. very cool. So. Yeah, I really don't have many negative things to say about the quarry because it was honestly just a fun experience that I think I'll be going back to. So I'm gonna give this game just a solid 85%. That's 8.5 out of 10 hearts. Certified lovable by ya boy. That's me, I'm the boy. 
just Jacob. I guarantee if you play this game, you will fall in love with one character. And I just hope that they don't die or maybe get their head ripped off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for free. It's a great way to help out the channel. Let me know how your playthrough went down in the comments. We'll see you guys soon. Later. Oh, that was literally just